Welcome to The Strangest Inventions in History. In this captivating journey through time, we'll explore the peculiar and bizarre creations that have both baffled and amused humanity throughout the ages. From ingenious contraptions to downright absurd gadgets, join us as we uncover the quirky side of innovation and delve into the fascinating world of eccentric inventors and their outlandish ideas. Get ready to be amazed, amused, and perhaps a little bewildered by the oddest inventions ever conceived. But first, we ask you to subscribe to the channel in order to receive everything new. Invented by health worker Mrs. Robert C. Lafferty in 1913 and inspired by an increasing awareness of outdoor fresh air benefits for youngsters, the window baby cage was designed as a solution for apartments without a garden or outdoor space. Unsurprisingly, the very idea of putting a precious baby to play in a cage made of wire mesh and hanging outside a widow several floors above street level was too nightmarish for most parents. Decades before the mobile wonders of the Walkman, iPod, and the mobile phone, the idea of being able to listen to the radio on the move was inconceivable due to the bulky apparatus of early radios. Thought to have been created by an inventor in Berlin during the 1930s, this bizarre apparatus was essentially a straw hat with two large antennas sticking out on top of it. Despite other versions of the radio hat being made in an array of different materials, none caught on with the public. Not only was it cumbersome, but there were issues with radio signals. The invention of the transistor radio in 1955 eventually revolutionized listening to radio and music on the go. In the early 19th century, as walrus mustaches and beards declined in popularity, it became more socially acceptable for men to be clean-shaven. Because such morning rituals were time-consuming, a culture of stopping off at the barbers for a clean shave and shoe shine became common. The problem was that a barber could only serve one customer at a time. The solution was a group shaving machine which could seat several men in a row, where the first part of the device applied foam to all faces. Then a large blade would be used to trim their facial hair. The device could, in theory, shave 12 men at once. However, its limitations meant the machine couldn't alter its movements depending on the shape of an individual face, leaving unevent results and, at worst, cuts and abrasions from the blady. Developed in the U.S. at the turn of the 20th century, this eerie-looking mask or face glove was designed to be used by ladies of refinement to beautify and preserve youthful skin while also removing blemishes and imperfections. Resembling something from a creepy horror film, the main problem with this unproven treatment was its health issues. Designed for medicinal purposes, as claimed by its inventor and milliner Madame Helen M. Rowley, the mask was originally made from flexible Indian rubber and meant to be worn overnight. The science behind its claims was that the mask would encourage the opening of pores through perspiration. The masks became popular, prompting other companies to make their own versions. But worryingly, materials such as asbestos, sulfur, and lead were used, making the masks hazardous and causing more skin problems than they were meant to cure. Looking like a creation from a vintage sci-fi film, the Dynosphere, invented by a Dr. J. A. Purvis, was an alternative road vehicle from the 1930s. It was one giant monowheel where the driver sat, along with a passenger, in a cabin mounted on tracks. The head-turning machine rolled as the wheel spun and could reach a top speed of 30 mafrofer. In theory, the weight of the motor and the driver was enough to keep them parallel with the ground. To onlookers, the spectacle resembled a spinning giant donut on the street. Due to a lack of practicability, particularly in comparison to car designs of the time, as well as having no protection from the elements, the Dynosphere never caught on. In 
In 1905, decades before BMX bikes were somersaulting in the air, an inventor called K. Lang came up with a bicycle he thought could do an impressive loop to loop within a circular track. Lang designed a double bicycle, which was essentially two bikes welded together with one sitting upside down above the other. The rider sat encased between the two. The idea was that all four wheels could connect with all surfaces as the upper part would take over from the bottom wheels while riding on a flat surface. Little is known about Lang's experiment, but the improbability of the design, plus its potential to injure or kill the rider, was possibly the reason the invention never passed the patent stage. This novelty headgear, invented in Japan in 2012, utilizes impressive science for what many may see as a frivolous gimmick. The wearer dons a set of large mechanical cat ears attached to a headband, which measures brain waves and allows the ears to react to the wearer's moods at the time. When relaxed, the ears droop. When alert and focused, they perk up and wriggle. One drawback apart from the expense is that the Nekomimi is also fragile and can break easily which is why the manufacturer advises not to wear it in the car. Possibly inspired by the isolator hood invention decades before, the ostrich pillow, funded on Kickstarter in 2012, was designed to allow the wearer to escape the world, whatever their environment, be it at home, traveling, or working in the office, in order to catch 40 winks or enjoy silent meditation. Resembling a fluffy hood with three holes, one for the head and two for the hands, it was promoted primarily as a way to be able to take time out from the noisy world in order to decrease stress and increase productivity. In conclusion, history is filled with fascinating and often bizarre inventions that reflect the creativity and ingenuity of humanity. From the downright impractical to the surprisingly useful, these inventions offer us a glimpse into the endless pursuit of innovation throughout the ages. While some may elicit amusement or bewilderment, each invention contributes to the rich tapestry of human achievement and serves as a reminder of our boundless curiosity and willingness to explore the unknown. As we continue to push the boundaries of technology and imagination, who knows what strange and wonderful inventions the future may hold?